Hello, dear ones. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. Hey, I wanted to pour into something that I've been getting asked a lot as of late, considering that I am newly married. I have been getting asked this question, Ali, what is your best advice for new wives, right? As you're newly married, what's the best advice that you can give us? So I'm going to go ahead and answer that. I am by no means an expert on marriage, y'all, okay? So I'm not claiming to be. I'm just giving you my best advice as a new wife for new wives or future new wives. Okay, you ready? <laughs> the best advice that I can give you is allow your husband to fail. Dear ones, men are fragile. Yes, they're tough. Yes, they're gritty. Yes, they're strong. Yes, they're all of those things, but they're fragile. And we need to allow our husbands to fail. Listen, just like you're not perfect and you don't have it together 100% of the time, neither does he. My husband is Superman, okay? That is a fact, but he is super man, operative word being man. He's still a man, he's imperfect, and he's not gonna get it right 110% of the time. He's not supposed to, and my job as his wife, as his helpmate, is not to kick him when he's down. It is not to point it out. It is not to say, look, I told you so. It is not to say, why'd you do that? It's to say, you know what, babe? This didn't work out the way that we thought. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab your hand and we're gonna walk out together and we're just gonna keep trying and keep going. Allow that man to fail because if he's not allowed to fail, he's gonna be terrified to try. Proverbs 31, 12 says that for a wife of noble character, it says that she brings her husband good all the days of his life, not harm. Don't be a wife that brings harm to your husband's spirit. Don't be a wife that brings harm to your husband's confidence. Be that loud voice that is his encourager. That's his helpmate. Listen, when he wins, you win. When you win, he wins. Y'all are on the same team. And I think that so often in marriage, we lose sight of the fact that your husband doesn't need a mother, babe. He needs a wife, a best friend, an encourager, a teammate. Be that allow him to fail. And I'm not talking about toxic behavior. I'm not talking about abuse. I'm not talking about infidelity. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about allow him to not always get it right 110% of the time and then help him and walk together so that you both get it right. Okay. I love you guys. I hope that was helpful for you. I'll talk with you soon.